So last night on the cruise I'm currently on, I witnessed a very shocking, disturbing, and potentially scary situation in the domestic category. Now, I do have videos that I have to show all of you. I hope you do stick around because I do believe this is a big lesson that I think a lot of people need to learn because there are factors like cruising that people just don't consider. Whenever you book a cruise, people look at things like, of course, the itinerary, the price, the ship, if it is an old ship, new ship, whatever your preference is, the amenities. But one thing that I believe is off often overlooked when it comes to a cruise experience. I do believe it is a make or break. It is who you're sailing with. Just for context, before we get into this unimaginable story, I am currently sailing on board the MSC Seascape out of Miami. Don't ask why. Most of you know that I am not a huge fan of MSC sailings out of the U.S. I do personally believe that MSC cruises out of Europe, really anywhere else, are much better. But let's just chop this up as a business trip. I'm not vlogging or doing any media stuff on this particular ship, but if I explain why I'm here, it would take an hour and a half. Anyway, so getting to the story, last night I was in the promenade area here on board the Seascape. After dinner, I went outside deck 8 toward the back or aft of the ship. There was a lot of lightning in the area. It looked pretty cool to watch. And out of nowhere, on deck 11, a woman comes out of her room onto the balcony yelling in Italian. But somebody translated and she was saying, help me, help me. Next thing we know, a man that I guess is maybe her boyfriend, lover, husband, or whatever, comes out and, I kid you not, starts attacking her. He slapped her, literally picked her up, and looked like he was trying to toss her off of the balcony. Everybody's freaking out, myself included. I didn't have that knee-jerk weird reaction a lot of people do to start recording. First thing I did was get ready to run upstairs with another couple of gentlemen. However, we did happen to run to security and we let them know what was going on. They ran up there and I came back outside. I come back outside, there was, I guess, a young man. He looked like he was maybe in his early 20s. He was next door to the situation that was happening. He jumped from his balcony from the outside and ran over over and grabbed the guy and he did it pretty quickly obviously an action like that is extremely dangerous and was probably reckless for the young man to do but he saw somebody was in need of immediate help so he did climb over to the other balcony next door and he was able to detain the man hold him down until more help was able to come up there and assist him as you can see the alleged agitator the older man is held down security eventually ended up coming on myself and a lot of other onlookers was kind of shocked at what was actually happening and well I'm just glad that it didn't escalate to something even crazier, even though the situation in and of itself was absolutely ridiculous, and I don't think it should have happened to begin with. The two men were pulled inside from the balcony, and from my understanding, there was an interview conducted between the couple to see what was going on. From what I've heard through the grapevine, the agitator, the older man, has since been arrested. Now, just looking at this situation as a whole, I do understand that this is more on an extreme end. However, the lesson that we need to talk about here is still more or less the same no matter how crazy these situations get. The point of a cruise is to, yes, of course, go on vacation, escape reality for a little bit. Just go and not think about work, not think about your boss you don't like, that commute to work that you hate so much. You can have a great time. And I would argue that cruising is, without a doubt, one of the most hassle-free ways of travel. The problem is with a lot of people is that they look at all the factors, like I said at the beginning of the video, but they don't really think about who they are sailing with. There are a lot of people that believe that, for whatever reason, to rekindle their flames with their significant other. They either take them on this nice vacation and they think because maybe, I don't know, the significant other sees the water and the islands that all of a sudden everything is rectified and they are now once again this perfect harmonious couple that can do no wrong and never fights or argues about anything. But that couldn't be any further from the truth. Sailing with the wrong person on a cruise can turn into an absolute nightmare. And because you have people that spend thousands of dollars on these cruises when things don't go their way or there is an argument disturbing the entire situation well there is the potential for things to escalate very quickly if you've been on a cruise before and you were actually looking around you've probably seen couples friends fighting over oftentimes the most minute things i believe personally that when it comes to a cruise i look at it like a birthday i believe that people are extremely sensitive on their birthday naturally they want to feel special and anything that kind of deviates from that ideology they're going to be well a little bit more apprehensive about it on a cruise people have paid thousands of dollars it may be their only time throughout the entire year that they get this getaway and they want to make it special without any incidences whatsoever so if anybody causes any problems well as you could imagine things have the potential to escalate very quickly when I say problems I mean something as little as a disagreement as far as where to go for their entertainment for tonight what excursion they're taking somebody being late for their excursion in the port of call it can be anything under 
under the sun. You couple that with the fact that maybe a couple in particular already had a situation going on, arguments prior to even getting on the ship, and it is a potential recipe for disaster if things happen to go the wrong way. Being fully transparent with all of you, I myself even have to be aware of these situations. There's a reason why I don't bring my girlfriend on every single cruise that I go on, for example. Believe it or not, I know this is very difficult for most people to understand, but this is my business. This is how I make a living. This is how I feed my family. And well, there's a lot of things that I have to do when I get on cruise ships, especially if it's new. Full cruise ship tour, check out the dining options, get a real feel for the experience, know where everything is. That way I can put a constructive, objective, and concise review out when everything is done in full detail. Let's say while I'm on a cruise ship, my girlfriend and I get into an argument. And we are humans, we are a couple, we fight like everybody else every now and then. There are other outside factors as well. People recognize me on cruise ships. And something I often hear whenever I'm with Lauren, people will come up to me because, again, they don't understand exactly exactly what it is that I do in this new digital world, they will tell me, hey, it's disrespectful that you are working while you're here with your girlfriend. Take at least a few days off and relax and work. And I got to explain to my guys, this is uh, how, I, how I eat. <laughs> If I've spent a lot of money here and I do this every month, I can't just chill out. It doesn't work that way. This is business. And, well, I need to be able to focus. And these factors that come in and kind of deviate from that can be extremely difficult. You take that to the perspective of your average cruiser that is just on vacation and something goes wrong. Well, just like that, aside from the focus, they are now not having the experience that they desire and paid for. Moral of the story, who you decide to take a cruise and vacation with can make or break your cruise in a small way or even a massive massive way like you've seen the situation I told you about earlier. If you are somebody that is organized and you're an early riser, maybe you don't go with your friend Tiffany that likes to drink margaritas all day and night and wakes up at noon. Unless you guys have established like, hey, I'm going to do my own thing until you wake up and then we'll go and hang out and have a good time. But you get my point here. Anyway, that's what I got to say for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that like button on your way out. Know I love and appreciate every single one of you and well, I'll see you later. Take it easy.